Good afternoon fitness friends, it's M Fitness and today I wanted to talk to you about your sitting posture. Most of us are spending way more time uh, during lockdown in front of the computer and some of you might have back and neck pain all along this area which is your upper trapezius in your cervical because without realising it you might look like this while you are in front of your computer. So, a few little tips um, so to improve your posture and maybe mobilize um, your torso, your shoulders while you're sitting on your desk. First exercise I want you to do is to sit right away back towards uh, the back of your chair. So, butt against the back of the chair and shoulder blades against the back of the chair. It might feel very awkward. But this is just a bit of an exercise and now I want you to lengthen from the crown of your head like if you were wearing a corset here. So pull your abdominals in, zip in your trouser and really lengthen. And then think about too heavy weight being on your shoulders. And from here, I just want you to breathe, take time to breathe, which is the most important thing we've got to do in life. So I want you to breathe in, into your thoracic spine, really expanding the rib cage sideways, forward and back, and then releasing as you exhale. So you can breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, or in through your mouth, out through your mouth. I don't mind, as long as you're breathing and expanding that rib cage. Doing some continuous breathing. Maybe you can place your hands on your ribcage and really feel that breath. Like feeling out the big balloon, which is your draft diaphragm, and then emptying the balloon out. And out. Lovely. So keeping that length in the spine, we're just going to mobilize the shoulders and just open the chest and roll the shoulders back just to release that tension you might have in your shoulders. So we're rolling and opening the chest. You can think about the breast as well if you can. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And once you feel comfortable with that opening of the chest, rolling the shoulder back, you're going to bring your elbows into it. And maybe you can start lifting your arms. Remember, when you lift your arms, Keep your heavy weight on. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. One more time. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. From here, we're going to round the spine. So, keep to me. Take your chin to your sternum. Shoulders down. And then you're going to take your arms back and round. Squeeze your shoulder blade together toward the back of your chair. And again. Shin to your sternum, navel in towards your spine, shoulders down, and then open out to the side. And again. And open. One more time, rounding the spine, just a bit like a cat stretch when you're on all four, but we're on your chair. And then release your arms down. I'm just going to change side. I'm going to face you. And we're just going to do a few side bends. We're just going to go bending your torso over to your right and then over to your left. And again, just side to side, mobilizing your thoracic spine. If you feel comfortable doing this move, you're just going to lift the arm up and then bend over. And every time you lift that arm, keep that weight on your shoulder. Don't hike the shoulder, keep it down all the way. One more time on either side, stretching out. And not forcing the movement of your head, and just follow your spine by bending over. Beautiful. Now you can place your hands onto your sternum into a prey position. Still lengthening from your spine using the breast, and you're going to spiral around, 
just moving your thoracic spine and twisting it side to side into that lovely spine twist. Just a couple more. Whatever breathing is right for you, not forcing the breath. And then releasing and just rolling the shoulders one more time. And I hope this has been useful for you.